Our reliance on GPS is more critical than ever, powering everything from air traffic to national defense, yet it's facing unprecedented threats. China's Baidu and Russia's GLONASS satellite systems could jam or even mimic GPS signals, creating risks that extend far beyond navigation disruptions. This isn't just a technical glitch waiting to happen. This is a potential crisis that could destabilize emergency response, disrupt military operations, and leave critical infrastructure vulnerable. In this episode, we're exploring why these capabilities are so concerning, what experts have uncovered about the threat from space-based interference, and the urgent need to fortify our GPS technology against these looming dangers. GPS isn't just a convenience, it's a cornerstone of critical infrastructure. For over 40 years, GPS has become embedded in everything from financial systems to defense networks. This high dependency makes GPS an attractive target for attacks. Signals are intentionally kept weak to maximize accessibility, but this also makes them particularly easy to jam or spoof, resulting in potential wide-reaching consequences. We consider the U.S. Department of Defense, which relies on GPS for military coordination. Disruption in these signals could disorient troops, impact drone navigation, and even shut down entire defense systems, leaving operations exposed and vulnerable. Similarly, civilian sectors like aviation and banking also rely heavily on GPS. The Federal Aviation Administration uses GPS for air traffic control, and financial networks use it to timestamp transactions across international systems. A GPS disruption affecting these sectors could lead to significant safety and financial risks. Recent incidents around the world emphasize these vulnerabilities. Russia has reportedly engaged in GPS jamming in conflict zones like Ukraine, causing issues in both military and civilian operations. Additionally, increased jamming incidents in the Middle East highlight how easily GPS reliance can become a weapon. If an adversary like Russia or China launched a satellite-based interference campaign, the effect could be much more severe than these localized incidents, disrupting systems across vast regions. In short, while GPS has revolutionized operations across sectors, it has also made them highly vulnerable. Our modern systems are only as secure as the signals that drive them, and without reinforced protection, they remain alarmingly susceptible to external threats. Understanding this dependency underscores the urgency to address emerging threats from satellite systems like Baidu and GLONASS. China's Baidu and Russia's GLONASS aren't merely alternatives to GPS, they represent strategic tools with the potential to impact global security. Baidu's flexible architecture, in particular, makes it capable of mimicking or even interfering with GPS signals. Recent discussions among experts, such as those at the Department of Transportation's Civil GPS Service Interface Committee, have raised concerns over how Baidu could be used to mislead GPS receivers, subtly introducing errors that could disrupt services without immediately triggering alarms. This flexibility allows China to potentially misdirect essential navigation data across broad geographic areas without detection, making it a powerful tool for strategic disruption. Russia's approach with GLONASS also poses significant risks, though in a different way. Russia's electronic warfare satellite, Zeus, is reportedly designed to jam or spoof GPS signals across large swathes of territory. Unlike ground-based jammers, which can be detected and localized, space-based jamming would be far harder to counter and could blanket entire regions. This would pose a major challenge for U.S. military and civilian infrastructure, as current countermeasures are generally focused on ground-based threats, leaving space-originating interference a largely uncovered threat. The issue goes beyond simple interference. These systems have the capacity to create a situation where their signals override or mimic GPS, creating an illusion of normalcy for any GPS-reliant device, which might believe it's receiving accurate data while it's actually being misled. This capability, in the hands of strategic adversaries, gives them the power to destabilize entire systems or misdirect critical operations, from military movements to commercial shipping routes. These risks emphasize that in the hands of adversaries, the power to interfere with GPS from space is not only possible but potentially disruptive on a scale we've never encountered. For the U.S., this means that reinforcing GPS and related technologies has become an urgent national priority, 
relying solely on traditional methods of GPS signal detection and correction will not be enough to keep up with these advancements. It's clear that, in the era of satellite-based threats, GPS security must evolve, or America risks becoming increasingly vulnerable to these disruptive technologies. The consequences of GPS interference from space are vast and devastating, capable of disrupting entire regions and sectors. Unlike isolated incidents of ground-based jamming, a space-originated attack could have exponential reach, affecting all GPS-enabled devices in the line of sight of the attacking satellite. For critical infrastructure like aviation, emergency response, and telecommunications, the stakes are incredibly high. In aviation, for instance, a loss or spoofing of GPS signals could leave pilots without reliable navigation, affecting not only individual flights but potentially causing chaos across an entire airspace. Imagine air traffic control systems scrambling to manually coordinate flights mid-air or reroute them based on compromised information. Such a scenario could lead to increased flight delays, jeopardized passenger safety, and massive economic losses. The U.S. transportation infrastructure, particularly in dense urban areas, would face severe disruptions, leading to a cascade of logistical and economic setbacks. In military operations face an even greater risk. GPS has become crucial in the coordination of forces, guiding drones, targeting systems, and monitoring troop movements. A successful spoofing attack on U.S. military GPS could cause weapons to malfunction, troops to become disoriented, or even lead to the misdirection of key assets during critical operations. During conflict, this level of interference could shift the balance of power, as it would compromise both strategic planning and real-time response capabilities. Civilian sectors would also bear the brunt of these disruptions. Emergency response systems, which depend on GPS to locate and reach people in need, could suffer delays or misdirect resources, potentially costing lives in time-sensitive situations. Financial institutions that rely on precise GPS timestamps to execute trades and transactions could see disruptions in global financial markets, risking instability and potential economic losses on a large scale. The sheer scope of potential damage highlights why countermeasures are crucial. While current technologies provide some resilience, they are primarily defensive, designed to react to interference rather than prevent it. As adversaries develop more sophisticated space-based jamming and spoofing capabilities, the need for proactive strategies like secure alternative navigation systems becomes essential. With these developments, it's clear that protecting GPS technology has evolved from a technical challenge into a strategic imperative for national security and resilience. In this video, we have learned about the vulnerabilities of GPS technology and the emerging threats posed by satellite-based systems like Baidu and GLONASS. From civilian infrastructure to military operations, the potential for GPS interference presents a profound risk that could impact nearly every, every aspect of modern life. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.